Hello everyone, and welcome back to yet another political episode. So, today we'll be taking a look at Aza Hutchinson, uh, who will, who is running, uh, as a Republican in the candidate in the 2024 primaries to become the president. Uh, part of our sad series of, you know, know your candidates. So let's take a look of who Mr. Hutchinson is. Who's Aza Hutchinson? And why, and what's the big deal? Who is, what's his deal, you know? What, what, what made him, what made him run for president? And what's his background story? So the history of Hutchinson um, starts in 2006. It doesn't say that Hutchinson uh, was in the state government at all. Um, I'm sure he, ha yes, he had the political career. He had his early efforts. Um, he was part of the Drug Enforcement Administration, Department of Homeland Security. I think under the Bush administration, if I am correct, um, Yes, under the Bush administration. He was the 8th Administrator of, of Drug Enforcement Administration. Uh, Secretary of Homeland Security under the Bush administration. Uh, so yeah, he served under the Bush administration. Um, he was a U.S. Representative, House Representative for Arkansas's 3rd District. However, he did not get in by election um i it does not there is it does, how do i know because it doesn't say that that he got in by an election um or he probably did my bad i do not know about the governor of arkansas the former governor of arkansas that much but uh, yeah, he was, fact is that he was a U.S. representative from Arkansas's 3rd Congressional District from 1997 to 2001. So, yes, he did have political potential, uh, despite that not being in his electoral history. If he did run, oh my goodness, he really should have, Wikipedia really should have put that on there. Anyways, let's take a look. According to the electoral history of Wikipedia, uh, the very first election Hutchinson ran in was the 2006 Arkansas gubernatorial election. And that election was, let's see here, a Democrat blowout, possibly a landslide. So, we have the Lieutenant Governor, Winthrop Paul Rockefeller, and he actually was running for governor uh, in uh, this election primary, but guess what? He withdrew because he, was, he had an illness, and he died uh, in July, so... Rest in peace, Mr. Winthrop Paul Rockefeller. Um, and we gave sincere praise for his, his family. So we have, so basically this gave the this up to, I think this ob op gave a Aza Hutchinson automatically the nominee. Uh, having said, uh, Rockefeller withdrew uh, fr the, from the race and died shortly after. Uh, Hutchinson was the nominee. However, Democrats killed it this election. Mike Beebe, uh, the moderate conservative um, governor of Arkansas, not governor, oh yeah, for, former gov governor of Arkansas, former governor, no, it's not, not former governor. He's the new governor. He got reelected. No, he didn't get reelected. He was elected the new governor of Arkansas, having Mike Huckabee than the previous governor. So 2006, blue wave, midterms, Republicans did horrible in this series of elections, uh, which led to Beebe winning the governor's race. 
defeating the Republican nominee as a Hutchinson by 15 points. As you can see, this map here shows uh, BB performing a great performance in the Black Belt uh, and overall in rural Arkansas. Yeah, so B this one was a big win for BB. But BB would serve his two terms. He would run again in 2010. He would win again in a landslide. Um, and then we would have, as a Hutchinson, he would decide to run uh, and try a second attempt, I believe, eight years later in 2014. We see in this primary race, Hutchinson performs very well against his opponent, Curtis Coleman. You'll see, oh yeah, Hutchinson wins every single county. He performs very well in the Black Belt, which is over here. Um, of course, he wins the African vote, African conservative vote. Coleman only manages to win. Oh, this only county, this county up here only went to Coleman. So yeah, Hutchinson prevailed with 72% of the popular vote. Uh, yes, for sure, Hutchinson was definitely going to crush it this race. Uh, and overall, Hutchinson managed to win a blowout. Um, a, I would say Hutchinson's performance in the, well, this one is tend to be very weak. I mean, comparing it to the 26, 2012 elections... I want to see how Arkansas voted for Mitt Romney. And because Arkansas, we see, is a very enthusiastic conservative state. It votes for Republicans for around 60%. Of course, it has those dino Democrats, conservative Democrats, that tend to get a lot of votes and popularity. Um, but when it comes to actual conservative Republicans... Like MAGA Republicans, you'll see it goes really well. You'll see Mitt Romney won 60% of the state. Um, well, as a Hutchinson, couldn't even get to 60%. Uh, he got 55%. And that's a very weak, a very small margin, as you can see here. However, he did win the race by 14 points. So let's give it to him for that. Let's give him credit. Good job, Mr. Hutchinson. But you still underperformed the whole total record of winning as a Republican. So, yeah, you'll see here, he does very, he couldn't break the black belt. And he manages to, to lose a lot of counties that tend to vote uh, conservative, like these counties up here, these counties, these are rural counties, unpopular um, counties, and they went for Mike Ross, the Democrat. I think he is a moderate, but, um, but still, uh, that shouldn't be happening. So yeah, Hutchinson really has a problem when it comes to that election. So despite being reelected, um, so that was the 2014 election. 2018 election, yet again, another blue wave. Um, we have All right, Asa Hutchinson does very well in this election. Good job, Mr. Hutchinson. Um, Although, and being endorsed by his not-so-friendly friend, Donald Trump, as a Hutchinson, that's, pretty, that's probably why Hutchinson did well, honestly. Hutchinson, if I have said this already, I can't remember. Hutchinson does not like Trump. Hutchinson's an anti-Trumper. Does this mean he's a rhino? No. Because as a Hutchinson is a pretty good conservative guy, he does conservative stuff. He's a big staunch pro-life advocate, and he is, was a very big, big conservative guy in general. So uh, when it comes to that, but he's just not a friend with Trump. He does not like Trump. He has called Trump to withdraw his campaign uh, before uh, announcing his bid uh, for the presidency in 2024. 
Uh, so not a very good friendly guy towards Trump. I don't, uh, honestly, I don't know why Trump endorsed Hutchinson. I think Hutchinson got pretty toxic to Trump, towards Trump after the 2016 midterms. Because I don't know, possibly, I do think possibly as a Hutchinson did vote for Trump in 2016. But he did not vote for Trump in 2020. He probably voted uh, libertarian, honestly, or third party. Uh, he, for sure, I know for a fact he did not vote for Biden or Trump. Uh, probably went third party. I can't tell you uh, which third party he went for, but uh, so... Yeah, you'll see. It's that Trump endorsement right there that got, uh, as a Hutchinson here, um, that got him, that made him do very well. So Mr. Hutchinson got to thank Donald Trump for that, honestly. I mean, seriously. If you are very anti-Trump from the beginning, you would probably not win the primary. So... It's very important for Republicans in staunch Trump states to be pro-Trump. Why? Because you, um, because you, Liz Cheney is a great example. Liz Cheney got destroyed for being anti-Trump. Why, well, oh, why, why was she a problem? Yeah, because she was anti-Trump. Because she had huge uh, anger towards Trump. She was a part of the January 6th committee. Um, made conservatives look bad. She lost the, the not, <laughs> she lost, re, got, failed to get renominated by over 70 points. Well, that's not necessarily true, by over 60 points. But the point was she did horrible so and she comes from the staunch state of wyoming so very important as a hutchinson um he lucked out because he got the endorsement of donald trump in 2018 uh, i think trump probably was afraid that he to lose the state of arkansas so he probably didn't have much of a choice uh but definitely i do think that Hutch, uh trump would not endorse hutchinson in any race anymore here's the primary results here you'll see hutchinson Normally, you'll see governor, the incumbent governor would win a landslide. Well, Hutchinson actually does a pretty, he underperforms in this one too. In the primary, he runs against Jan Morgan. He got 69%. Compared to his 2014 run, his 2014 run saw him getting 70%. He did more worse. He did pretty bad in this primary. You'll see Morgan managed to carry five counties. Hutchinson should have carried all the counties because that's what typically, normally, I believe uh, 60% of the time, 70% of the time, incumbent governors wipe out and win nomination by 90%. Hutchinson fails, gets only 69%. And I'll tell you, not all governors do that. Not all governors get uh, renominated that easily. Hutchinson's one of those governors that got a little hard time getting reelected. So anyway, that's the stories of story of Anna uh, as a Hutchinson. What do you think? Do you think Hutchinson will do pretty worse? Will do as bad as Nikki Haley? Do you think as a Hutchinson is the candidate, the ultimate runner for the twenty twenty four presidential? primary do you think he's the nominee and do you think he can win the the election anyway thank you for watching this political episode i'll see you all in the next one